Biggie's Chat House, episode 7, take 1. Welcome to Biggie's Chat House. What's up, guys? It's Big Biggie. AKA Not Casa de Bochinche. Okay, Teddy. We are here on episode number seven. <laughs> we have came this far. I'm filling oh. your glasses. Do you like them? Today, I wanted to give you guys a big, 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 big thank you for everybody every from around the world london shout out to the r detroit canada michigan like you guys have been coming from everywhere showing me so much love i know the last episode was a little bit touchy guys because you guys know like i get emotional you know i just got a text message i'm sorry because i feel like while, while i'm filming i kind of get very like emotionless and i don't really like, notice what they're doing to me right there and then you know it was a little bit hard watching it so i really appreciate you guys you guys are so fire you guys make me feel so important when you guys are like at home or at work watching the chat and it makes me feel so good i love you guys because you guys understand me but i don't feel like i'm being bullied because we all know like i always stand up for myself so that's really what's really important and maybe i over explain or i over speak sometimes so when I was in school getting bullied, it was intense. I don't think I would ever be able to survive being bullied in this day and age. Because, like, if you don't got a 40-inch and some Balenciagas, girl, you are getting bullied. I'm not the first one to be bullied, and I won't be the last. But at least me and Teddy will be here to clock it. If you're being bullied or something, I think you should, like, inbox me or something, and me and Teddy are going to talk about it, and we're going to clock it. Clock it. Because we're going to make sure that... If you're being bullied, that your voice gets heard, period. We're going to be recapping today, episode 14. It's called Time to Swim. I don't know who was swimming because ain't nobody was swimming today. <laughs> they gonna get me. A question. Natalie, what's what so, funny? so funny? You can't legally touch my stuff. Look at me my thing was, I was super upset at the fact that you're touching my stuff. I love my purses, and I worked hard for that bag. Mm -hmm. If I feel like I worked hard for something, I don't want nobody touching it. Especialmente una mujer como yo, que uno se sacrificia. We're still coming up. Like, me and Teddy, we're still coming up. You're still coming up. All of us are still coming up. We sacrifice to buy ourselves little stuff like that, whether it's a bag, a ring, a chain, a jacket, or this or that. We sacrifice little things to get what we want out of life and to say you know when i grab that purse like damn i worked hard for that this is my shit like mm -hmm. so that's really why i got mad from the looks of the bandana you got on your your head you cannot afford this bag so why are you touching this bag CZs. i told you to stop talking about her cc's we gotta give her the blanket the blanket is big enough it can cover her head damn you know what i'm saying mariah lynn said show him biggie right you see what mariah lynn said she said that I wanted to be on Baddie's East so badly, so show them what you about. You already f***ing know I'm going to show them what I'm about because, honestly, I'm getting tired of all these females. I'm tired of repeating myself to her. Ya yo le dije a ella y se lo expliqué diez mil veces. I didn't have nobody touch you, but me and you can take care of me and you right now. Teddy, did you see that? How she kept going like this? She was like, come on, run up, run up. How am I going to run up when all the security guards are literally holding you back and holding us back? So every time I throw a punch, it's like poof, wall, poof, wall, wall. Give her an Oscar. Right, Teddy, an Oscar. Someone give this girl an Oscar. Because they man, all of this over a lie. All this over a lie that you made up. You done gave yourself a headache, got pulled back by a leash, by a, um... Your ringleader. And then you're talking about, bye, bye. First of all, your press on nails broken. Because I seen you looking for that shit. She was looking for that fucking nail, bitch, while we was trying to get ready for the thing. We found that press on nail on the bathroom floor. And we all know Mariah Lynn gave you that damn press on. We're going to clock it. Let me put my glasses back on. I got to see this. I got to see this. <laughs> She's like, oh, look at you. Just got beat up. Who got beat up? Nobody. And then I said it. I said, well, it looks like we're missing each other because where's my face? Still look good. 
like always, you see that face, bare face. I be on camera, bare face, eating the girls. Eating the girls up. Bare face. Shout out to Skin For All. She's be mad. And now, when I told battery her- Battery in her back? Right. The battery in her back. You seen that shit, Teddy? On the new episode of which girl is Natalie gonna put a battery in her back in next? We're going to be talking about E.T. and how mad she looks in this picture. <laughs> when I'm talking about niggas put a full-on battery in her back, nigga, clank, nigga. She was tight, cut clank, nigga. Like I said, her face, chick, y'all see this? Y'all see my new pants? Hold on, let's get back, let's get back to the bullshit. Cause she was tight, talking about, bro, put the fuck battery in my back. We'll put this battery in your back so you can keep talking shit. Heat it. And let me tell you something. Now we put a battery in your back. She said, who let the dogs out? Roof, 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 roof. It's crazy because I ain't never seen you that heated, E.T. You were so mad when I said that because you know what's true. You said, ah, ah, ah. Heat it. Who's packing their bags? Bella, porque yo quisiera saber con quien ella habla, cabrón. Ain't nobody packing no bags around here. And not only um, that. Who's aligned? Who's, thank you, because who's aligned? The only thing aligned today is this damn bang that looks fire. I'm not even going to lie. You got that. I really like that. Can I get that wig? Natalie. Then you're going to say, Smiley and Biggie just need to go. They're throwing us off. Who? Natalie. You came in the season thrown off. You came into this world thrown off. Her chin's thrown <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the chin alone for real. I'm gonna tie it up. I wanna show you. Alright, let's go. Alright, Miss Chin. I wanna know how I'm holding y'all back and throwing you off. And by me, I'm talking about directly me. I don't give a damn how you feel about smiling. Especially. ET's talking about, oh, you gotta go by, bitch. Your lash was gone, bye. It was flapping. <laughs> it don't matter. Anyways, let's continue. And why is Scotty dressed like she was gonna fight knowing damn well she wasn't there to fight nobody? Bye, girl. Didn't even speak up not one time. Bye, girl. Go to hell, girl. Why do you got that scarf on your head, girl? At least hers is real Gucci, though. You can tell Scotty's is real Gucci. <laughs> Did she say the wig was haunting her? Right, Teddy. The wig is haunting. No. You're trying to hide the temptation, Roly, because what you wanted to really do with my wig was slap it on. So you took it and you threw it because DK, oh, DK, it was haunting you. It was in your way, bitch. What, that 40 inch, that 40 inch orange, 200 density was getting on your nerves, girl. Girl, you could never have a wig like me. Like, let's really just get into it, girl. This is a whole 360 unit, real life pretty bitch, every time. Let's continue to play. And what did you have under that fucking bonnet? And then what are you and T doing having this conversation? Y'all don't even like each other. Wasn't you just trying to fight her? Like a couple days ago talking about she's not pretty and fuckable. Now you just having a conversation. Stop! Hold on! Yo! Roly, you're gonna fucking piss me. You're gonna fucking piss me off! Yo. She said that nigga rolls with her all the time. He's like this big. He be where at the premiere, at the auditions everywhere. That's her boyfriend. Stop playing with me, my nigga. I don't even do light skins. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. You all like my niggas. Big, black, and handsome and dark. Lo más negro, lo mejor. Lo, lo tigre del mundo, coño. Lo tigre fuerte, me vengo con bulto. Yo, Rolly, no me hagas no haga soltarte una galleta, coño. Te soltarte solta una galleta. Tan falsa, coño. Tú me tienes alta a mí. That's her boyfriend. Stop playing. You mean John? Yes. What? You talking about John, my brother. Clock it. Stop playing with me. That's not my boyfriend. Don't ever play with me, because y'all have been seeing me single for about a year now, but y'all know. I got a boo. Okay. Don't ever play on my man's top. I got to sit down because you don't even like when I act like this. For real though. It's spicy. Y'all going to take me out of character. Why the fuck is Roly standing like this, bro? Talking about a noob. <laughs> Y'all go purchase. I'll get an activated now. Get fuck to it. Give me, me my damn tape. Damn table. Piss me 
off. I'm about to roll up my backpack. Bro. See that? It's the real gas right there. The real gas right there. Because I'm not a businesswoman. I'm a businesswoman. At this point of the episode, it's kind of like evident that Roly just wants an issue with me or even my team or someone. She said what she needed to say, how she's not down with, with domestic violence. She's not down with this. T, please research and everything else. Because like I said, said Roly was the first one to complain about my domestic violence last season on the auditions so look on up but on we that. can't punish t for not knowing so whatever roly what is it what is it that like you really want from me because it's, you just described the whole entire puerto rican man the whole time you said he's this high you guys have seen him everywhere before the auditions the this the that before you know for a fact that's my brother me and him grew up together, and we have worked security for a long time, years together. And when I decided that I'm going to pick someone to be on my side and take care of me, that's why I decided it to be, because he always takes care of me. Jonathan always makes sure that I'm right, and that's my brother. Literally, like, we have been through a lot together. I'm not just going to hire someone from anywhere to really be on my side, because not everyone can put up with me and how my team moves. But I just think it's funny how like you described that man one you wasn't even there you was nowhere to be seen in between any of the other scenes with that and then on top of that you're describing someone that you've seen with me multiple times when you can see that this man is dark-skinned with dreads no one even seen the camera right. footage. no one no one seen the camera footage everyone's making this decision and talking junk about me and t and and natalie oh you really have to go you have to this you have to that but why didn't we just pull up a clip? If anybody cared or production cared enough to even protect me and or my name, they would have been like, all right, let's pull up this clip. But instead, y'all just going off of like emotion, like everyone was waiting for a reason not to like me for a reason to kick me out. That's what it was giving, but wasn't going nowhere. Uh, so After T and Roly are having this little weird conversation that they're finally having outside, here comes Roly. Like, Roly, why do you care to even huff your ass up these stairs? To tell me I'm leaving. What you gonna do about it though? Nothing. You guys sent E.T. Roly, why don't you come up here and pack my shit? Why didn't you do it? I don't get it. Because you're the one that has a main issue with me. Or am I bugging? Like, let's be real, bro. You were looking at T like, up, oh, can't relate. Because you're the one starting all the issues. Clock it. And then you want to come upstairs and try to continue staring up a pop. When you know damn well, Roly, you wasn't doing shit, bitch. Like, you can't even breathe, bitch. You're swole everywhere. Your toes swole. Your thighs oh God, swole, your knees swole, your neck is swole, your stomach is swole, everything's swole but your lips, your lips is dry, they crusty, them things is thin, you just got this done on purpose, bro, it's like you showed them my, my, my bottom lip and was like, look, I want my lip to look like this. And then Anna came downstairs with her hair wrapped, I know that's right, because who's she about to wild out on? <laughs> she needs to wild out on one of these bitches, because I don't understand how all these bitches walked in here and not one person in house b said or in or did anything they're walking around like they running shit over here like fuck what i'm feeling you know what i'm saying how y'all let house a dk come in here i mandaba en aquí como que si ellos pagan renta aquí como que si ellos maman maman huevo aquí o algo man o algo yo estoy confundida yo why do i always do this i'd be like so guys, I just came into the room to talk to Smiley. Me problema con Smiley is like, I just feel like, you know, she needs to pipe up. I'm just trying to put you on game, like no cap. Like they did it to me in the first season. They're trying to do it to me right now. You're just in this room crying. Like girl, no, you need to pipe up. Because if you don't pipe up right now, they're going to continue to do it to you. They're going to pick you as the easy target, my nigga. And they're going to keep coming for you. That's the only reason why I went in the room to try to tell you. But you don't listen half the time. You don't listen. You don't know and you don't listen to the blood clot things that are coming out of my mouth at the time. You know what? I'm getting excited for Jamaica because it's coming around. Bitch, you going to go to Jamaica? I just didn't want to see another girl go through what I just went through. And she's another big girl. Like, whether she believes it or not, you know, Smiley is a big... She's thick. No, Smiley's big. No, -uh. she's thick. As fuck. Is it tiring that they keep mixing me and Smiley in the same pocket when we're not in the same bracket at all whatsoever? Like, Smiley throws rocks and hides her hands. Like me, I really don't be having issues. Girls are just coming after me over clout. And nobody cares if you fight Roly. Nobody cares if you fight Natalie. Nobody cares if you fight Scotty because there are a whole bunch of mean girls that no one cares for. I'm actually really happy that Sukiana took her time to come out of her way and speak to me 
and smiling. I feel exactly what Sukiana's saying. My house should have stand, stood up for me a little bit more. But at the end of the day, those girls don't owe me anything. And we were just getting to know each other when I walked into the house. Sukiana was literally a brief... A of, brief? A br a brief. Don't laugh at me. She was able to open my eyes to a lot of things that I actually wasn't paying attention to at one point. So if you and Smiley wasn't there, they were supposedly all getting along? Right. I feel like in this house, not many of us think. I feel like a lot of girls are giving airhead on the show. I'm gonna let them weed themselves out, but a lot of girls don't even think for themselves on the show. My problem is with Smiley is, you talk about that's my problem, worry about you. You are coming into my room, calling my phone every other day, every other second, talking about, yo, sus. And then every time I try to give her advice, she does whatever the hell she wants. She just wants to sit around and smile and laugh and try to be friends with these girls that obviously don't like you. Do your big one for your son. You don't even got to sugarcoat it with all of that. Just say you're a baddie, you want to be a baddie, and that's what you're here for. Done. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We in the hood, and I can hear music driving by. Y'all just can't hear it. But we don't need no chance, no you. Why do you, bro? The glittery high heel boots, though. Right. The glittery boots is crazy. Why do you have glittery high heel boots on? And you see me in combat mode completely ready to go. You don't got no vergüenza? Let me guess, you was gonna go shake your ass. You're gonna go shake your ass and turn up with these females that don't like you. Someone's getting smacked tonight. At this point, we're all separated from the other girls. So it's like, why are you guys still trying to make it seem like I allowed someone to put their hands on this woman? And then it's like, Camilla, you know you didn't see that. So why not just say specifically, I mimo directamente. I did that shit. Then for Sky to say, oh no, he did that shit. And now look at, look at where we're at now, guys. Everybody kept blaming me. And then this is really who did it. Because you guys didn't have to believe me. Y'all don't know me from a hole in the wall. But the stuff didn't, didn't, didn't add up. I was with you guys the whole time. I was showing love to everybody the whole time. And he was with his girlfriend. And he had his girlfriend's heels in his hand. And he apologized instantly. It's literally too much. And someone was going to get smacked in the face. Shout out to whoever gave me that baddie shirt. Because it was really, really cute. I know it's a small business. I remember y'all tagging me. Y'all fire. Because you heard the fans. East Coast, East Coast. None of y'all's from the East Coast, except for Mariah Lynn and Anna and Sky. But we're not talking about them. Stop! If you made it this far in the episode, make sure you guys click the subscribe button and that little bell to make sure you guys are the first one to see every episode when we drop it, okay? I love you guys so much. Let's get back to the bochinche. Can we talk about the fact that, like, Look how good I look in my confessional. Like, watch. Darylin, can you give me a zoom in, please? The difference is that Darylin actually wants me to look good. And Darylin was explaining to me what it is that they're doing to make me look extra fat. They're giving me an angle from down here instead of from up here so that I would actually look good. So, guys, can you guys please stop doing that to me? Like, y'all got 5K cameras. Like, y'all got fire-ass cameras. Me and Darren Lynn just got the camera we could afford for now. It's like, y'all got fire-ass cameras. But there's no way that y'all catching me with this big-ass neck and my big-ass chin. Like, damn, you can't even hide it from me. It's like, because Darren Lynn can't. Like, why can't y'all love me as much as Darren Lynn love me? So because they don't want me to look better than Rolly. Clock it. Y'all said it, not me. They cut off all my scenes this season. I'm so funny. I'm not in the intro, Teddy. And, like, look how pretty... Of a big girl I am. Look at me. Look at me. Clocky. Clocky. Every time I come on here, I never have any makeup on. And Darylin always makes sure I look so good. And we don't even have as much lights. They're going to have to start making me look better on here. Or I'm not coming on there no more. It's I want to. It's hard to make you look good. It's not. Tell them, Darylin. It's not hard. It's not hard to make me look good. Rolly, you might have to get like five different angles. You know what I'm saying? But me, nigga, you know you when you could pull from any angle. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to smoke. I'm not saying I did a lot of damage in the front, but I should have grabbed onto both of their fucking heads and yanked that damn fucking wigs off their fucking
fucking heat, dog. And Roni, you were so soup talking about, oh, yeah, wig was in the trash. Like, girl, do you see these two lashes you got stuck and smacked to the side of your head? Even the confessionals, that's the same wig. You just added some glitter to it. My wigs is always like no, like no fucking baby hairs every time. Cause ew. It was them baby hairs was just not giving. You don't see Teddy. Teddy got a lace front on. After I smacked E.T. or whatever the fact may be, now everybody want to defend each other. These bitches can't stand each other. And then Camilla was like, oh, I started hitting whoever hit E.T. Here comes her purse. Slow-mo into E.T.'s head. <laughs> We're all arguing. Rollie's turned up. Is that a little coke booger? Bro, I'm not lying, right? What is that? Hold on. <laughs> turn the yo now nah, turn the all right what's this <laughs> wasn't you just calling somebody a coke whore? gotcha ah lick it that looks like some booger sugar to me no te haga cacoñema no te haga no te haga on your knees catch it to catch it You got a real eating habit, cause bitch, not even the helping you lose weight. We'll talk about it later. I, think, no. you, yeah. I was freaking out because they pushed me. So now Roly's throwing stuff at me. I seen someone said in the comments like Biggie must have been the dodgeball champion in high school. <laughs> Always dodging negativity. I'm dodging people's bad attitudes. I'm dodging brokenness because Clock I'm it. not trying to catch any of that stuff. Roly started threatening me, talking about, oh, don't worry, you come into the West Coast, you come into the West Coast, da 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 And I said, oh, but we on the East Coast now, so why can't we handle it? Because y'all remember on the West Coast, they would do certain stuff to frighten me because we was on their side. But now that we're on the East Coast, they didn't like it. You guys can hear the crowd behind me. East Coast, East Coast, bro. The whole New York, whole East Coast had my back that night. It was crazy. Like, like it got so bad that Zeus, you could see it in the in the show. Zeus started asking me, yo, you know these people? They with you? I'm like, no, bro. I don't know them. And it was just my supporters, my fans. You guys were out there for me. And y'all were like shaking the thing, bro. Mira, si yo me recuerdo de todo el mundo. Teddy, you should have seen everyone that was out there defending me. Y'all was like, oh, Roller, you're still fat. You got like four BBLs. Oh, you guys oh, were like, shit. who's E.T.? Like, y'all was bugging. Roley's talking about, oh, let her in the club. And I already know what that means. That Roley and E.T. were going to try to jump me the minute one of my songs comes on. Because y'all know the song comes on and there I go. I start da -da 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 and they're gonna try to snack me in the club. So that's why I was like, nah, let's do it right here, right now, my nigga, because I already know what, what was up. Hold on, did she just say, I'm walking around looking like Peter Griffin when she's literally walking around looking like Cleveland Jr.? I'm happy you got it right, Roly, because guess who Peter Griffin is? The star of the show! There would be no Cleveland Jr. There would be no family guy. There would be no Stewie without Peter Griffin. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit my Peter Griffin ass. I'm gonna sit my star ass right here. Yes. Oh. Every time she thinks she's coming with a, with like a comeback, I really eat you up every time. Like, stop trying. Look out of here, look out of here, look out of here, look out of here. Stupid. Talk about my big old Tonka in a second because I got the fattest ass in the house and know that. Ask all the girls. I'll call the girls right now. The girls will tell you my ass is the fattest one in the house. I don't go. Bitch, I weigh 110, so can bitch. <laughs> I don't give a Why is trying to play with me? Alright guys, so let me just give you guys a little insight. Natalie's talking about the owner said we can't come in. Ka, 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 ka. Let me tell you something. You guys was never going in that club to begin with. I may not be the best fighter, but guess what I am? A businesswoman. <laughs> Allegedly. Don't forget, I'm an event producer and I've been producing events to and a half years before I got on the Zeus Network. I traveled all around the whole United States with my team doing bookings. I know almost every single club that you can hit on the East Coast that's hot. Just know, my love, that booking was already done for before 
has even got there. And the reason why I did what I did is because I feel like y'all always like to make a joke out of me. So I made sure that you guys got to press on all your makeup, put your little outfits on, and yeah, I wanna give a big shout out to my confessional look because shout out to Backpack Boys. <laughs> and I did it fire with the red hair. It's getting better. This is a picture of my face the day after showing off my whole outfit because I didn't want my ass to show, guys. Just go look at it on my OnlyFans. I think after last night, um, they were probably still upset because of the bag. So me and Smarty's out here having our conversation. I'm a communicative baddie. So you know if there's a way to communicate it, I'm gonna communicate it. Pero con estas perras, con estas animalandias, no se puede hablar. And then, what did Smarty say? Oh yeah, and your peoples was following right there on the side of us. Thank you. Females is mad because my team moves militant about me. My team is going to always be here for me. Whether it's Darylin, whether it's Jonathan, whether it's Taida, whether it's Karina, any of my team, they're going to always be with me. Even Brazil. Anytime you see me, you're going to see my team. Period. You've seen the whole thing. You've seen my people was my... my Family was with me the whole time. That it's, I'm just finding this out. No, you're not. You was there. And you was just so scared and so happy that it wasn't you this time. We're always jamming in the hood. <laughs> she said, was you hiding the toilet paper in your room again? The reason why she said that is because I had my team come and bring my dog as emotional support. This is my dog. His name is Stitch. And he had a lot of fun with the girls, guys. See? I only have the toilet paper in my room because of Stitch. He be acting up. And he be like, <coughs> throwing up when people feed him stuff. So, that's really why I had that there. Here we are, the next day. They're having a morning conversation. Where's the 100 wigs, Roly? Right! <laughs> Where do you have a hundred wigs for this supposed photo shoot, girl? My thing is, Natalie, Biggie and Smiley just don't get it. What is it that you want me to get? Why don't you come and tell me personally what the issue is? Natalie has the nerve to be like, oh yeah, we went over there and the girls were tripping. Who was tripping? Literally, your house came into our house and tried to mess with us and try to disrespect everybody. And by us, I mean me. My problem with Scotty is that you... Pretend to be my friend. Clock it. Even to this day, right now. But you knew all of this was happening. What she say? We're gonna expunge these girls away. And you didn't even text me. Then y'all wonder why I let Teddy speak what he wants to speak every time. It's getting crazy and it's getting crazy. Hold on. Rylan wanna say, oh, we're gonna we're gonna play chicken heads with the chicken heads. Did you peep Roly's face? Yo, Roly looks like she wants to rip Mariah Lynn's head off. And that's how you know, yo, Roly plays fake. She'll smile in your face all oh, this whole time. Girl don't even like you. They don't even like each other in that house. I'm telling you right now. They don't even know what to speak about half the time if it ain't about us. It took five of you bobblehead bitches to come up with that plan. And your plan epically failed. We decided to all sit down and have a conversation after mine and Smiley's conversation. I know the girls, they all felt like, you know... They were upset because they couldn't get into the club. But honestly, none of my girls was really worried about that bag. We make that money all the time. Like, we could do one promotion hit and we make that money. So it's really not that serious. Chopsticks is a paid actor. Okay, because the Chopsticks was killing it. We was just joking, obviously, the paying rent thing. Because y'all was online talking about y'all pay rent. And I like what Camilla said. Cause I like the fact that Biggie's coming out. No matter what, and it's standing on her shit. Yeah, because I'm going to come out regardless. Because 24 hour notice, nothing. Why are you so happy to party with these girls? House B just arrived to the pool party that they wanted us at so badly. Mind you, according to them, they're having so much fun without us. So I don't even understand why they need us here. E.T. says, well, how can I get Biggie the way she got me? The difference between how you can get me and how I can get you is that I didn't need five Bumble Bim Dumb to put my plan together and you ran up and you threw the water you hesitated it looked like you was afraid it may have looked like i was like trying to wrestle with her because you guys couldn't hear what i could hear natalie kept saying you're gonna get in that pool you're gonna get in that pool so what they were arguing about roly and all of them was arguing about was the fact that roly and et planned this together and the girls was like roly Roly don't do that. Roly must have tried to blame everybody at once. And they were like, nah, Roly, don't do that because you know this is all your fault. Da -da 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 -da. The other girls, they seen me coming in and they seen her crouch down. Sapphire, Scotty, even DJ Sky could have been like, yo, Biggie, 
something could have let me know that she was on the side of me. You had to hide in a bush, throw water at me, and try to sneak me, and you still did no damage. <laughs> Why does Natalie sound so disappointed? Exactly, Teddy. Nat bro, Natalie sounds disappointed as hell that her bulldog ain't doing what she's supposed to do. You can hear Natalie in the back like, no, no, f no. And that's what's weird about you, Natalie. We're all your baddies. Why are you sitting there acting that way? It's the way you act. The way you, uh, it's the way you act. Uh, it's the way you uh, act. Uh, uh. Here's Natalie and Rody. Get that bitch. Get that. Like, damn, Natalie. I understand Rody. Forget about her. She could roll over something. You're going so hard over a female that you never even wanted on your show. Now, all of a sudden, it's get that bitch. She's like, oh, Biggie, you're going to have to catch this fade. You're going to have to catch this fade. Are you going to come fade me? Because I'm confused. And then the way that you're talking, it's like, bro. How old are you? Don't you reportedly make $20 million a year? Why do you care about this one small bag so much? You're talking about get that fat, what? Girl. Don't get me tight. Are you stupid? Play with your fucking buttholes, stinky. Don't play with me. Why do you care to embarrass one of your baddies? So guys, now that we got this fight out of the way, it's time to move forward to the next we're going to Times Square to look like a whole bunch of Tauruses. Anna and Smiley go at it. Me and E.T. go at it. Me and Roly go at it. Sukiana tells Mariah Lynn and Anna and a couple other girls that she wants them to leave. So at the end of the day, let her do what she wants to do. What's up, guys? It's the end of the Casa de Bochinche. And let me tell you guys something. The next episode is going to get even more spicy. Spicy. I love you guys so much. Shout out to Darylin because without her, this wouldn't be capable, okay? And shout out to all my sponsors. And you know what we about to do because I'm about to blow back on my backpack. So I've been showing you guys my sweatsuit this whole time. So what I love the most about my sweatsuit is this band right here. It hugs you really nice and it creates this like snatch look you want. And then we're going to always represent right here. Big Dominican energy everywhere we go. Hello. I know you guys have been waiting for them to release. And guess what? They're released. Yes. They're going to be on my new website, www.iambiggy.com. Because there is no other Biggie. I am the only Biggie. I want to give a big shout out to all our new subscribers. We are about to hit 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. And me and Darylin have so much more content for you guys. Make sure you guys go follow Darylin's YouTube and Darylin's new website that she has up. It has a lot of goodies on it. And we got a lot of exclusive pictures that you guys never got to see they're gonna be keeping all the good ones sometimes you guys in order to see those behind the scenes you guys have to go to Darlin's website we're gonna put it right here in the comments we're gonna put we're gonna put the promo code that i got for backpack boys for you guys to get their sweaters and get their stash spots and we got promo codes for you guys to get your wigs fire like mines we got fire promo codes from bella's on hair and I have a new t-shirt that's going to be coming out that's super fire. And once again, we have Darylin's website that just went up on air. You guys have to go see all the exclusive pictures that we got there. Because listen to me, Darylin works with a lot of different celebrities, guys. I know she only focuses the most on me because I stole her. Okay? But you guys are going to be able to go see on her website all the other celebrities that she works with. It makes me a little jelly sometimes. But it's okay. Because she's all mine. And Taita. And talking about Taita, make sure you guys go follow their page. Make sure you guys go follow Darlin and Taita's DNT channel. It is fire. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, right here at PVD Biggie Entertainment, we're a team here. We're family and we love you guys. You guys are a part of us now. Any single time that you want to be heard or you want to be seen or you got something to say, you hit up Tahita, you hit up Daryl, and we're going to make sure that it happens. We love you guys. And this is the end of this episode. Next week, we're going to be filling you guys in because we're finally caught up. We was a little bit behind and we love you so much. And cut. Tell you like my new sweatsuit? Look.